This is basically beginner rate. And you can see it's pretty uh pretty stable. Really stable actually. Using Libre Flight. Obviously, if I had more room, I could open it up. But since I'm in the junkyard here, all right, I'm going to change the rate up. Going uh, into rate two, but I have to do it with this dial, and it's going to be hella responsive and more difficult to fly. Okay, I got it in rate two and definitely more responsive a little more difficult to fly ooh see what I mean yeah I think rate 2 is a little is uh, too dangerous for the garage so try to get it back to 1 if I can Back at one. One is stable enough for the garage. Don't feel like wrecking it in here. I think when I get out in the open, I'll try rate two, but not bad for a 260 quad. Pretty maneuverable. Flight time with 1300 milliamp battery. Three minutes, 20 something seconds so far. Make sure. I really dig how stable this is. And I got it for $78, you believe that? It was on sale. I think it went back up to 139 but definitely worth $78 and comes with a camera that works really well too. I'll show how that one works later on. And yeah, my garage is a mess. But if I could fly decent enough in here, I figure I could fly even better outdoors. at now four minutes and 30 seconds can you see that Probably not. Mm. Mm. Tell you what, quad flying is so much fun. This does not get old. Let's see, where is my buzzer setting at? 364. I have it set for 36, 330 for each one. Still have some time, and we're looking at how much. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Let's fly time. Flight time is at 5.31, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. But to be able to fly a 260 quad in my garage like this, tells you it's a testament to maneuverability. Yeah. 
We're at six minutes now. Definitely don't try this at home because you will hurt yourself. <laughs> Those blades cut you or touch you right there. Pretty much, uh, yeah. Done deal, but you got to dig those back lights though too. They're really, really bright. You can see that night or daytime. Let's test the yaw out. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. But I'm in manual mode one, so. Get control. Get control. Basically just a hover test. It handles really well. But the frame is not that strong. It's not carbon fiber, it is plastic. So it's really not a quadcopter that you want to crash that much unless you're in a, you have a lot of grass in a grassy area. And you definitely don't want to fly it in a garage full of junk. Because uh, one crash and you could break an arm. Oh, there's a buzzer. Let's give you another 30 seconds. We'll see what our flight time is here. Okay. That's it. Let's see what our flight time is. Eight minutes. About eight minutes. Not bad. Very good. Oh, I'm happy with it. 